What up guys, so today I'm going to be talking about why I chose the Genesis Coupe over um, 370, the BRZ, and uh, the Challenger. Oh, and, or maybe the WRX. It's going to be a little video series, so if you want to look at those other videos, go ahead on my uh, channel and um, just look those up. So this video is going to be about the BRZ. Why I chose the BRZ... <sighs> Wait, I didn't choose the BRZ. Why I chose the Genesis Coupe over the BRZ. And this entire video, I'm, I'm gonna try not to be biased because I do own a Genesis, as you guys already know. Uh, I'm just gonna try to keep it real, what happened, the facts. That's what I'm gonna try to do. Um, so, right off the bat, what I was looking for was a sexy car that had power, that was relatively good on mileage. So the BRZ was one of the first places I went to go check out. Coming out at $26,000, it had the look, it had the mileage, it had the sexiness, it had, you know, it had it, it had it. It was just lacking a little bit of power. I test drove it, and I'm going to tell you right now, hands down, the BRZ has one of the best gearboxes. It shifts beautifully. I loved it. I fell in love. Smooth ride. It, um, it, it just felt good. The only problem was it was lacking a little bit of power. Coming off of what 200 horsepower with with 151 pounds of torque, uh, it was it was it was lacking. It was really lacking for my for my needs. Um, if it had maybe 50 more horsepower with 190 pounds of torque, that would have been perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, and um, that was something that it it wasn't a big deal for me because I knew that. I, ended, I wanted to end up customizing my car. It doesn't matter what I had. I'm going I'm to mod it. I'm going to do what I want to make it my own. So that didn't really deter me from getting the car. Um, but I did leave that in the back seat. So when I did test out the Genesis Coupe, it had the look, had the mileage is kind of whack. I'll tell you the truth. The mileage just sucks. But it had the look, had the power, and it had the customization that I wanted in, uh, in a car. Um, when I drove it, the gearbox was not up to par as the Subaru, which was disappointing, of course, but I can look past that because you can always you know, switch that out. Um, but so I did test drive it right away. You could tell the power was there coming off of 248 horsepower with 295, 98 horse, uh, pounds of torque. The power is there almost almost doubled the the um, the torque from the BRZ. Um, so that right there really, really changed my mind on what I really wanted. Even though the BRZ was a smoother ride and could cut corners and you could take it on a road trip with the 34 miles per gallon on the highway and not worry about fucking dying out of the middle of nowhere. But who cares about mileage, right, when you're buying a car? So the weight. For the BRZ, it comes in around 2,700. The Genesis Coupes comes in at 3,500. There's a 800 pound difference, and of course you can feel that immediately. Um, that is why the BRZ is such a great handling car, because it, the power to weight ratio is, I think, 13.8 horsepower to something. I don't know. It's just, it's just better. It's just better all around. Um, it's just lacking that power. And that's what I was looking for. I didn't want to be on the road, on the highway, and a fucking Civic fucking tries to race me and I get blown. You know what I mean? That's what, that's what I didn't want. So at the end of the day, guys, it really doesn't matter what people say. You really have to just go out there, test drive it for yourself, and make up your own mind. I could, I could sit here and ramble about the BRZ, how much is better than the Genesis Coupe, but it's just my opinion. At the end of the day, go out there, test drive it, see for yourself, love it, like it, buy it. It's just $5,000 difference between the cars, and um, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, whatever. Um, I'm a, this is a video series, so I'm going to do a, a, a few more parts. If you want to watch the Evo, the WRX, or the Challenger, please go on my page and uh, look that up. So until next time, guys, peace out. Later.